Welcome to this edition of On the Scene. I'm your host, Tim Kelly. You know, if you're still out there trying to plan summer activities for you or your children, you're in luck. On today's program, we're going to be highlighting the upcoming Suffolk Parks and Recreation TGIF Concert Series, as well as a number of events and camps and activities going on here at the Suffolk Center for Cultural Arts. Stay tuned. Welcome back to On the Scene, joined now by Lori Carter, who's Special Events Coordinator here with the City of Suffolk in the Parks and Recreation Department. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. No problem. And of course, we do this every, every year, about this time, we start talking about summer events. And one of the big ones, or several of the big ones, I should say, that take place here in the City of Suffolk are these great TGIF concerts, which is why we have you here today. Also, another special event we're going to work in there between the two pairings of TGIFs, which will explain the schedule, uh, the Stars and Stripes Spectacular. So again, stay tuned. We're going to be covering that as well. Well, let's kick off with the TGIFs. And of course, this is the eighth straight year that the City of Suffolk has offered these. And we have eight great concerts coming up this summer. So I'm going to let you take it from there. And if you could, just explain a little bit about what is a typical TGIF concert like? What's going on at the venue? We use two different venues, so you can explain that as well. So I'll let you go. Okay. TGIF, eight years. Um, <laughs> we start out at Constance Wharf Park and Marina, which is behind the Hilton in downtown. Um, the setting there is very open, so to speak. Um, we have our stage, people bring blankets, chairs, come and sit down, and it's right on the water. It's a beautiful night. Mm -hmm. um, the park opens at 6 o'clock, bands start at 6.30, okay. and stop playing about 9.30. Okay. Um, the scene there is beautiful. It's right on the water. Boaters come in, and it's very lush and serene and right. very... Friday night. Um, <laughs> it's great. Um, then, after the four concerts there, we move to Bennett's Creek Park, which is another one of our gorgeous parks. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's wide and open. It's pretty self-contained. Parking is on site. Right. Um, parking is a little iffy down at Constance Wharf. Um, we'll have details about where people can park and things like that sure. a little bit later. Sure. But um, Bennett's Creek, um, we have our stage. This year we have our permanent stage. Right. We're very excited about it. Indeed. It is gorgeous and we can't wait to use it. <laughs> Um, full of lights, and it's gonna, it's a permanent structure, right. so it's definitely an investment into not only our events, but right. other events that the city has. Um, the, say, the same time frame there, it's 6 o'clock, the park opens, mm -hmm. band starts at 6.30 and ends at 9.30. Okay. We have food vendors, um, beverages for adults, okay. things for children to do, right. um, a bounce house and coloring and things like that. Just It's a great family atmosphere. Kids come, run mm -hmm. around, parents talk to other parents and, right. of course, enjoy great music. Just a, a nice night out for, for fa definitely a family atmosphere for sure. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the best thing is it's free. Absolutely. It, other it than is the concessions free. and things, right. of course. It is. But as far as the concert itself and parking and the venue and everything, it's... Yep, it yeah. is free. You okay. come and you enjoy. You come up, set up right. camp, and leave when you want to. I gotcha. Stay the entire time. Stay a few minutes. Mm -hmm. so. But, yeah, it's very, very relaxed and free. Okay. Well, of course, we've given the basics of this, but let's get into who's going to be playing in Suffolk this summer. Okay. And as you noted, we have four concerts that will kick it off at Constance Wharf Park and Marina starting on June 21st. Is that June correct? June 21st. So if you could take us, Lori, through the schedule and tell us a little bit about each of those bands, and then we'll transition over to Bennett's Creek Park. Okay. Um, Constance Wharf, again, it starts June 21st with Strictly Business. They are a variety band. They have horns, um, lots of great, great sounds, very good dance music. Right. Um, June 28th is a local favorite, Island Boy. They play the beachy variety music too. Mm -hmm. um, July 12th, we take a break because of the July 4th holiday right. um, and then we come back July 12th. The DeLoreans, which is an 80s tribute type of band, they, they'll play all your 80s favorites right. and probably some here or there. Others, <laughs> so. um, July 19th is the Fuzz Band. They're um, they're more of an original type band. Mm -hmm. um, they write a lot of their own music, but they are a show-stopping band. Okay. They are great. Um, we really want to encourage people to come out to see them. Now, is that a new band for this year's schedule? We had them last year okay. at Bennett's Creek, um, and we're trying them up at Constance Wharf this year. Okay. Um, it, they're a great band. Okay. They're fantastic. Um, then we do take a week's break, mm -hmm. and we come back in August at Bennett's Creek. Um, August 2nd, The Janitors, um, they are a variety band and a TGI favorite. Mm -hmm. um, August 9th is the Michael Clark Band, they are a variety, they have horns too. Um, we've, ha we've played them before, but it's been a few years. Okay. Um, August 16th is Guava Jam, they're a variety. Mm -hmm. um, they're new to us this year. Okay. 
Um, August 23rd is Slapwater, and they're also a TGIF favorite. Okay. Now, of course, again, a lot of these bands we talked about have been here before, so obviously if you have your favorites, you want to come and see them, but also you have the opportunity to pick up a chance to, to hear a good variety of music over mm -hmm. the course of the summer schedule. Uh, you know, if someone's thinking, well, you know, that sounds like a great idea, what would you say to encourage someone to come out who maybe hasn't been to a TGI concert before, other than the music and the fun? I mean, there's a, just a lot of stuff going on, and again, the best thing is it's free and open to the public. Right. Um, something I would say to somebody who hasn't been to one before mm -hmm. is, just come out and, and see. It's right. um, it's a great night. It's it's free. It gets you out of the house on a Friday <laughs> night and probably into another business after right. the event is over. Right. Whether you stay till nine thirty or only stay till like eight thirty, mm -hmm. you can go out to dinner afterwards. Sure. Um, it just gets you motivated for, a, for on a Friday night. Right. Um, and you get to hear great music. Mm -hmm. And not only that, you get to tour some of our parks. That's um, true. Bennett's Creek in particular has a lot of amenities. Mm -hmm. Constance Wharf does as well. They Correct. Have quite a few amenities, but sure. Bennett's Creek is just, it's nature, you're in the center of nature, right. um, and you get to see what Parks and Recreation has to offer in mm -hmm. terms of parks, and hopefully encourage people to come back to our parks, True. not just those two, but exactly. all exactly. of them. So. That's right, we have a, a lot of great offerings here in the city of Suffolk through Parks and Recreation, certainly want to encourage people to take advantage of that opportunity. Mm -hmm. Now one thing to note, I, I believe with both venues, and you correct me if I'm wrong on Bennett's Creek Park, you need to bring your own seating. That's the yes. one thing. And of course, I know at Constance Wharf, you kind of have a little bit of a sloped lawn, so you could sit on the ground or bring a blanket or whatever, which is, I guess you could bring in either venue. But if you want seating, your own little chair, bring your chair, correct? Absolutely. You want to bring a chair or a blanket mm -hmm. or something to sit on. If you don't mind sitting in the grass, then of course, that's not an issue. <laughs> but, um, True. Yeah, I, if it were me, I would bring a chair. Okay. So. okay. Now, and again, no uh, food or drinks are allowed in other than what is available for concessions. Is right. that correct? Um, we are going to be a little bit stricter on that this year. Okay. Um, water is permitted because it does get hot during the summer, sure. and we understand that. Sure. Um, but absolutely no food. We okay. have vendors that come out there, and we really want to right. encourage that. Um, coolers, if you have water in your cooler, all coolers being checked, soft coolers, right. big coolers. Um, okay. Okay. Now you mentioned earlier about parking, and I think you know certainly with Constant Wharf Park, you have some parking there. I believe to the more to the right side of the hotel, probably you want to utilize. Is that correct? Um, or where, where do they prefer you to park? More of the at Main Street side. Main Street side. Okay. Of, um, okay. The hotel. The yes. Closer to the McDonald's. Got it. Okay. Um, kind of the convention center side. Right. If you will. Okay. And I believe that there is some parking across the street at the visitor center. Yes. Um, I also believe that the farmer's market is the same time, so. Um. Well, I, I think that's actually just going to be on Wednesdays and Saturdays this okay. year, so they won't have the Friday, so that may open up some opportunities yep. that you noted behind the, the, the recently renovated visitor center, of course, mm -hmm. as you noted, right there on the corner of Constance and Maine, so that's a great spot to be. And again, you know, you have some crosswalks right there that you can come right across and go right behind the hotel. Just listen for the music and you'll find it quite easy to do. Yep. Uh, now, we've talked about the TGIFs, and again, we'll go over that schedule one more time before we conclude the segment. But kind of right in the middle of there, we have another special event, and that's the Stars and Stripes Spectacular on July 4th. It's a Thursday, but there's also going to be music. It's also free and open to the public, and I'm assuming you also have vendors there as well. So it kind of mm -hmm. be like a TGIF atmosphere, but you're going to throw an extra something special with fireworks. Absolutely, and more vendors. Right. Um, it is more or less a TGIF Great big. <laughs> um, we the park is absolutely packed. Right. It, we have thirty five hundred people, if not more, come to that event. Mm -hmm. um, but we do have trolleys for that. Sure, um, sure. We will have on site parking when we get closer to that date. Um, okay. We'll release the off site parking um, sure. locations and the trolleys. We do encourage people to take advantage of that. Correct. And the trolley will run continuously throughout right. the night until I believe about ten. And that's another free service being provided yep. through here. Parks and of course, and we'll have information coming out in the future about the trolley stops, so where you can park. You know, again, if you don't want to have to walk too far, because I know there's, you know, in that in that vicinity, obviously you have the parking at the visitor center, but that's going to fill up quick. Um, and of course, what limited parking we have there at the hotel for for non-hotel guests that are coming right. to venues like this. Um, so again, a great opportunity to utilize some of the other resources being provided. And again, that information will be coming out in the very near future about where those locations will be. So there, where there's a will, there's a way. Absolutely. You definitely can get there. And as you noted, it's definitely one of the more popular events based on attendance. And that's really packing the park there as well. It very much is. Um, fireworks shoot promptly at 9 o'clock, mm -hmm. uh, pending weather, of course. Cool. If we have rain coming in, we'll try to hold off. Right. Um, but we do try to get the event in. Correct. Um, this year, the band will continue playing after the fireworks. Okay. Um, so right after the last firework, which is probably about 9.15, 9.20, mm -hmm. the band will play for about 10, 15 more minutes, okay. give or take. So you kind of have something on yep. the back end rather than the fireworks are done. Let's go ahead and head on out. Which... Right. And the band playing is the hot case. Right. So. Right. And again, um, they, they've been here to Suffolk before. Yes. And what kind of genre of music are they? they they are definitely variety. They're okay. your dance, 
wedding band kind right. of music. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they're great. Now, again, one thing we did notice, and people, you know, you, you, not only can you listen to great music, but there's also opportunities if you want to do a little bit of dancing as well. Oh, yeah. I know at Constance Wharf, you have the, the kind of the Compass Arena right there. You've got mm -hmm. some space right there. And at Bennett's Creek Park as well, there's an ample space in front of the stage that if you want to partake, go ahead, right? Right. It's fun, fitness, all, <laughs> all the above. Right. Um, and it's just a, a great time. We do have sponsors for TGIF. Okay. Um, TGIF is presented by Pender and Coward Attorneys and Counselors at Law mm -hmm. and Monarch Bank and Mortgage, okay. who are new to us this year. I'm great. very excited. Good um, deal. And we're also sponsored by Meadowbrook Memorial Gardens, Suffolk Insurance, and the Blair Brothers. Okay. Now, Lori, if somebody's watching this program and they say, listen, I want to find out a little bit more about TGIF or just to kind of go over some things, is there a good number for them to call? They can call the main number here at Parks and Recreation, 514-7250, and they will be directed to me. Okay, and also they can also go to your website, and mm -hmm. I know the schedule is posted there under the special events section, I believe. Yes. Is that correct? So again, we'll have that address on the screen mm -hmm. um, so that everybody can kind of jot that down and go visit the City of Suffolk's website for that. But let's cover one more time, uh, and, and you can go through this, if you don't mind, by date. Start sure. us out at Constance Wharf Park uh, with the date and the band, and then take us to Bennett's Creek Park as well. Okay, Constance Wharf Park and Marina. June 21st, Strictly Business, June 28th, Island Boy, July 12th, The DeLoreans, July 19th, The Fuzz Band. Then we move to Bennett's Creek, right. August 2nd, The Janitors, August 9th, The Michael Clark Band, August 16th, Guava Jam, August 23rd, Slapwater. And of course, again, as we noted, on Thursday, July the 4th, we have the Stars and Stripes Spectacular with The Hot, hot cakes. cakes. Okay. Good deal. Well, Lori, thank you for being with us thank to tell us know. about what's coming up this summer to all these great TGIF concerts. And again, the fireworks display that's taking place at the Stars and Stripes Spectacular on the 4th. And again, as noted, if you'd like more information, please contact Suffolk Parks and Recreation and also visit them on the web. Again, a lot of great information there and some great activities to look forward to for the summer of 2013. We'll have more on the scene when we return. Welcome back to On the Scene. We're coming to you today from the Suffolk Center for Cultural Arts. And of course, we like to talk a lot about all the performances and the great events that go on in the theater. But today, we're going to talk about some other aspects of the Suffolk Center for Cultural Arts, and specifically education and the key component that, that plays here. And today, we're talking with Jody Mazur, who is our direct, Director of Education here with the Suffolk Center for Cultural Arts, and Jackie Cherry, the Executive Director. Thank you, ladies, both for being with us. Thanks, Thank Tim. you, Tim, for coming back to the Center. Always glad to be here. A grand, fun place to be. And I think we're talking about a summer full of fun on today's program, specifically camps and events and things that are geared toward young people. And again, out of school, summertime activities, looking for something to do, Suffolk Center, great place to turn to, correct? Absolutely. And just yesterday, in our local paper, came out our new schedule of events for the summer. Um, we're always very pleased and excited when this hits. And one of the other newspapers, the pilot, of course, it will be in next week. Okay. But it talks about everything that's coming up for the summer. Right. And the cover is one of my favorite things, as always. Uh, we consider ourselves the heart of Suffolk, right here in downtown right. Um, at the center. And it talks about how close we are to all the areas. Um, we finished up our season, actually, our performance season, last Saturday okay. with Pinkalicious. Mm -hmm. And I went back this morning and was looking where all the customers came, came from, from, our clients, mm -hmm. our children, and so forth. And there wasn't one area that wasn't hit, which was really exciting, mm -hmm. plus others in North Carolina, Correct. Richmond, and so right. forth. Mm -hmm. So again, we always say we're, we're not that far away, and people are coming to us from all over. So we're real thrilled about that. Understandable. Um, the summer camps this year, we have a great new partner. It's the Young Audience of Virginia. Mm -hmm. And Joe, do you want to talk about those folks a little bit? Yeah, Young Audiences is an is a, uh, organization that's been established in this area since 1955. And um, their whole raison d'etre, the reason they exist, <laughs> is to incorporate the arts into learning. Right. So while they have these wonderful programs, they actually speak to skills that are developed for different, different skills that are developed educationally, mm -hmm. reading, um, self-discovery, uh, all these kinds of things for children. Right. And um, they're a natural match for us with camp. And we, we're, we're beginning, our, it's our premier partnership season. And they've been wonderful in talking about our arts camp and our theater camp. We're going to have the two camps again this summer. Okay. And when does all that get started and when is, reg is registration already underway? Yes, it is. Okay. Registration. You can register now. Register <laughs> now. <laughs> yes, um, we have open registration for camps. 
Um, we do have a an early bird special on the price. Okay. Um, so that if you register before June 10th for the art camp and July 15th for the theater camp, you'll save $25. Okay. So good deal. So, yeah. How can you go about doing that with registration? You can. You can register online. Okay, great. But you can also come in. Mm -hmm. You can call. And um, we're here coming to the building, 110 West Finney Avenue. Okay. Mm -hmm. now, if you could talk about what, what, what's going to happen in these two camps, how long do they run, and what are the ages that are also going to be uh, affiliated with sure. this? I, sure. For the art camp, um, the ages are 6 to 11. Um, we are going to be experiencing, there, there's going to be a theme about um, who am I or who I am, and children will uh, work through different arts mediums to discover different pieces about themselves. They'll be working with um, the young audience artists and with some of our, the people we have, our counselors, and they'll be doing different projects. They'll be doing a little bit of art and theater and um, it's, it's, it's similar to what our art sampler camp was, but we kind of took it up a notch. Right. So it's very exciting and there will actually be a theme that pervades it and of course we will have our art exhibition by the campers Very at nice. the end of the week. It's a week-long program, I'm okay. sorry. It's a week-long program beginning June 24th and running through June 29th. Okay. And part of that also includes their lunch oh, yes. and their mm -hmm. snacks. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, so it's a, just a day full of mm -hmm. fun, excitement yep. and learning and yep. uh, producing some great works of art. Some right? great, great works of art. One Thank of the you. things we're really excited about too is one of the pieces for self-discovery is creating a mask or, and, dis and the discussions about what is a mask and how different cultures have used masks and how you can do a mask. Mm -hmm. So th these wonderful things will be on display okay. also. Okay. So it's about self-discovery mm -hmm. and it's also about their own image, if you would, mm -hmm. and, and disciplines, and it's, it's a marvelous program, yeah, they're, marvelous program. Yeah. It, it, it gives the, the chance for the kids to, to experiment and learn about themselves in a very safe, creative environment. Right. So it's wonderful. The self-confidence yeah. with these children, they come in one day and they're a little shy and a little timid. Right. Second day, they're kind of opening up. By the third day, they've got a it's whole new group of friends. All out. <laughs> and they really do some self-discovery pieces. Mm -hmm. right. And right. It's, it's amazing to watch. Well, that's the beauty of camp. Again, you not only have the experience of, of, of doing whatever you're doing at that particular location, but the chance to interact mm -hmm. with other people that you don't know exactly. and to work on your social skills. So right. I mean, it kind of covers the, the wide gamut of things with that, with that opportunity. How many uh, people can participate? Um, we have a limit of 35. Okay. And so um, at this point, we've just opened the, opened the uh, registration, so there's still plenty of space available. So. Well, that's about the art camp. So let's talk now about the theater camp, which you said comes up in July. No, act yes, it does. Okay. Actually, it's August. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, August no, it's 5th. okay. It starts August 5th. This year we're running it the it's a little earlier than we normally do, mm -hmm. but this year it's August 5th through August 9th. So again, it's a week long camp, nine to four, same time. Right. And this this is again our theater camps have been terrific. This, again, takes it up a notch because what we're doing in addition to developing characters, writing scripts, learning different things, um, do, we're going to be doing performances, we're, it's also part of, again, self-discovery, taking some of those pieces, and the, the, the campers will be writing their scripts. They'll be creating their, the form of um, performance, right. but along the guidelines, you know, the similar guidelines of actually theater pieces. Correct. But working again with self-discovery and the, the heroes today. Well, the lit it's, it's a literary term called the hero's journey mm -hmm. where you track how you develop as a person and how you become from the, all the conflicts and the resolutions right. and what brings you to who you are. And it all will be done in a light camp atmosphere, and we're very, very excited about that. Now, again, this is another day camp, so again, what are the hours and, again, the ages for this particular because one? Because this is going to be a little more sophisticated, we're bringing it from 6 to 12. Okay. We, we found that the younger kids like the art camp. They're, they're a little more um, involved with that. Sure. But we, have, we are opening the theater camp up to a little bit older, okay. and so that's 6 through 12. Okay. And um, the, the times are 9 to 4. Mm -hmm. And also, same thing, lunches will be included and snacks. And Very nice. It's like, 
And they learn all aspect of the theater as well. Yes, we'll back be, yeah. behind the scenes. Right. They'll be doing their the, the scenery. They'll be doing their props. Right. All that. All that. Well, there are certainly j just mm -hmm. like in television or video, you're dealing with a lot of different components. Absolutely. It's not just the people in front. You have the stuff going on behind and how it all integrates together and makes the final production exactly. of what you're trying to do give you the again the complete picture of what you can. Right. Expect. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now we've talked about the day camps and we have the two of those, but I believe there's also some other camp activities and classes that are going to be taking place this summer. Yeah, we're very excited. Yes, Tim, this year is our third year for our partnership with Paul DeCamp Community College. They do the kids' college, we're doing the kids' arts college, and we have, I believe, six, six different classes that are going to be affiliated with the kids' arts college. And um, you can find them in your handy-dandy <laughs> guide right here. Um, actually, I'm sorry, there are seven. So, okay. And um, we will be doing mask making, and mixed media with the arts. We're doing martial arts and dance. We're also doing a, a program in play. We've got a baby and me class. So those are all gonna be part of this Kids Arts College program right. where we are bringing different kinds of arts in a shorter four week session. Okay. So it's not the whole summer, it's in between the two camps and it's only four weeks. Now when do those classes and activities take place? Are during the day, at night, or kind of a little bit of a mix? Those will all be during the day. During the day. Okay. We will have adult classes in the right. evening, right. but the youth classes will be during the day. Okay. And um, again, it'll be the month of July, following the week following the July 4th holiday week, mm -hmm starting then and going through August 2nd. Very nice. So. And again, as you noted earlier, I'm assuming you can register for these online these or are, by yes. phone. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you'd like more information in addition to your handy dandy guide, which <laughs> I'm assuming if you didn't get one, you can certainly come by the, the center here and pick uh, one up. We have plenty here. You I'll also have you a lot one. of that information on your website. <laughs> we do. So again, we you get another resource and some ways to mm -hmm. find out a little bit right. more. And of course, always welcome, I'm assuming, to call. And, Absolutely. And we want to get that number and the website address out there. So I don't know which of you two want to take that. It is 923 okay. Mm -hmm. is the main number here and the uh, website is suffolkcenter.org. Great. Now of course we're coming to you from one of the galleries and, and that's something I wanted to talk a little bit about. An exhibit that opened I believe you said in May. May 3rd was the little, opening here. And, and it's, it's called, called Gray Matter. Mm -hmm. So explain to us what Gray Matter means when you come here and again you're utilizing actually both galleries. Yes. So it's, it's a very expansive show. Yes, actually this was um, tied in with the faculty over at the Chrysler Museum, okay. their glass studio. And it's their creative minds working. It's actually the faculty's work itself. Um, the exhibit examines memory, mentality, senses, perceptions, and those sorts of things. Right. It really is unique. Obviously, it's all in glass. All pieces have a story behind mm -hmm. it. Um, this will run through July 20th. So the exhibit will be here for a while. Okay. If you haven't been in to see it, it's both galleries, of course, the Norfolk Gallery and our BB&T as Correct. well. Now again, the great thing is, what's the what's the what does it cost to come look at this exhibit? Oh, come this. Experience exhibit. <laughs> Got the to hook here, you know. Yeah, right, to experience right. this yes. exhibit, like all of our exhibits, yes, they are free okay. and open to the public. Our hours for the um, exhibit is 11 to 4, Tuesday through Saturday. Okay. Although we will be closed Memorial Day weekend um, to celebrate the holiday, of course. Right. But um, again, it's through July 20th, so you have plenty of time to come in, bring the family. There really is something here for everybody, and it triggers your mind and your imagination. Okay. And it's definitely a wide collection, and of course we'll be showing some of the, just a few little glimpses of it, but you really need to come in and experience it for yourself. And again, it's always a great opportunity to come to the Suffolk Center for Cultural Arts to experience whatever is going on, because again, it's always a wide variety of activities right. and events for all ages, all types of interest that you may have. And uh, Jackie, I think you were going to give us a little bit of a possible sneak peek. Oh, a little sneak peek. Something coming up <laughs> next season, so again, we always like to get that in there, but if you tell us about what we're sneak peeking about. Well, we have not announced our full season for 13-14, which we should be doing over the next four to six weeks when all the contracts are back. Right. But um, as you all know, the city sponsors in part of Mutt Strut, which was a week or so ago. Right. And we have in our program for 13-14 a show called Popovic, P-O-P-O-V-I-C-H. Um, it's a gentleman, he's Russian, it's a show out of Las Vegas. All the animals that he uses are shelter animals. And it's a wonderful show. It's a family show, of course. Sure. Um, I expect it to be a sellout. But if you go and get your tickets now yeah. online mm -hmm. before June 1st, we're also contributing to the Suffolk Humane Society. Very nice. So um, it's a fun show. 
if you go even to their website, right. you'll see some of the things coming up. Sure. Um, but this is just one piece. We have a great opening act this year. I don't think anybody will be disappointed in. Um, but hopefully you'll come back and we'll talk about the full season. You beat me to it, I was going to say. <laughs> I, 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 was, I thought the invitation was coming there. So we're going to take advantage of that and definitely come back and, and for the opportunity to highlight the upcoming season. But again, a great event coming up. And this will be in 13 or 14 when the, the pop, pop of it. February 1st is that particular show. Of 2014. Mm -hmm. So yes. again, that's one little part of, again, the great season that's coming up. And, and Jody, I just want to give you one more chance, if you would, please, to kind of talk in general about the camps and the things that will be going on this summer for young people. Well, we have camps. We have several different camps and classes. The um, arts camp in June, June 24th, 29th. The theater camp, August 5th through 9th. Kids Arts College is going to be in between during the month of July. And don't forget, we always have classes for adults as well, including a special in July, our art and wine class. <laughs> so look These it up. These have been great. We've had a wonderful time, as a matter of fact. They are wonderful classes. Come for a couple of hours, have, a, have some adult beverage for inspiration and enjoy yourself. It's a wonderful, wonderful time. Very nice, very nice. And of course, we always have our gift shop open, That's Justin's true. downstairs. Right. Uh, we're featuring right now an up and coming artist, which we do regularly, mm -hmm. who is from Suffolk, um, Miss Wood Woodington. And, right. Mm -hmm. And she has her things on exhibit here. Plus, we have several new artists downstairs with other crafts. So that's always part of our our openings every day and their shop is open 11 to 5 mm -hmm. Tuesday through Saturday as well. Good and deal. the other thing about gestures which people have made notice about is that all the artists are local and North American artists. That's right. So yes. it, um, it's, you want to buy local, buy USA, you can do it here. All right, great. Good. Thank you ladies both for joining us today to talk about, again, the great things that are coming up the summer of 2013 and really that are going on all the time here at the Suffolk Center for Cultural Arts. Thanks for watching this edition of On the Scene. We'll see you next time.